India is currently engaged in discussions with foreign engine manufacturers to collaborate on the development of a 120 kN class engine for its AMCA program, and latest media reports indicate that the deal is also said to include provisions for the establishment of a high-altitude engine test facility and flying test bed aircraft in India, both of which will be provided and supported by the selected foreign engine development partner. That will be critical for developing the engine locally and conducting all levels of testing during the development process in India. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment intends to produce three variants of the same engine for other programs, so it is crucial that the intellectual property rights of the engine remains in the country, so that these programs can be executed domestically without any external assistance. The Aircraft Research and Design Center of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has issued a tender for the supply of aerospace standard bearings, required for the canard control surface of Tejas Mark II fighter jet. The bearings must meet performance and loading requirements without periodic maintenance, and the number of cycles given under dynamic loading is estimated for a minimum of 2,000 hours of operating life. However, efforts should be made to achieve twice or thrice the number of cycles, to enable continuous use of the bearings without replacement throughout the entire life of the aircraft. The Indian Air Force will retire the MiG-21 Bison fleet by 2025, and HAL has proposed to convert the retired MiG-21 into OMCA, that will be armed to carry out the first wave of airstrikes in heavily saturated airspace and baiting air defense positions within enemy airspace. The Indian Air Force is not fully on board with this project, as conversion of MiG-21 into optionally manned combat aircraft would require the aircraft to be maintained in the same operational conditions as a piloted aircraft, and the Air Force instead prefers cheaper unmanned combat platforms such as the Cats Warrior Loyal Wingman. Following multiple reports of premature wearing out of aluminium controlled rods on the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter platform, HAL has decided to replace them with steel control rods. HAL officials have stated that the replacement program will begin soon, and the replacement process is anticipated to take about a year. The new steel controlled rods will offer a better lifespan and increase the reliability of the platform, and will also be easier to maintain. Indian Navy's anti-submarine warfare corvette INS Kavarati has arrived at Indonesia's Batam port to participate in the fourth edition of the India-Indonesia bilateral exercise Shamudra Shakti from 14th May. The two sides will practice weapon firing, helicopter operations, anti-submarine warfare and air defense exercises, with the focus at enhancing interoperability between the two navies.